Cameraman husband Dave and I live about 40 miles from our capital and we know the popular spots quite well. But we find the more you learn about the city, the more you want to see. <laughs> Second London film, we've discovered a selection of quirky, interesting and historic places that you may have heard about but haven't had a chance to visit. This area is the naughty bit of London and I love it. This is where all the pirates were, um, this is where all the brothels were. So if you want to see the other side of London, the dark side, come to Rotherhive. Right, so come down, meet the pearly kings and queens, see what the old London tradition is. You can see us all in our different costumes, wonderful stalls, wonderful tradition, and we'd all like to see you in Brick Lane. <laughs> I like the history of London. It has a really rich history of popular entertainment, and I sort of feel this fits, because as a cartoonist I like all the 18th century cartoonists who mercilessly poke fun at the king and the politicians and I like to think if they were alive today they would do something a bit similar. This is the sort of hobby that got out of control. Really. Thomas Twain then started to do very, very well in his business as a whole and tea was really what was taking off and by 1717 we had a doorway onto the Strand and this is referred to as the Golden Lions. It meant that everybody knew that Twinings was the place to go and actually get your tea from. Mm -hmm. 